Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Kindred Jungle here in preseason 12. She's super nasty with the new buff Lethal Tempo. It allows her to take full advantage of Kraken Slayer and absolutely melt tanks with true damage. Every three attacks, Kraken Slayer is doing a bit of true damage. Kinda like Vayne, which is a big reason why tanks have been struggling a lot. So we're gonna be <clears throat> using that to the best of our ability. We're up against a Scion, which is perfect for this build. I'm glad they have a tank for me to showcase this against. I've been seeing a lot of Vagar support and Vagar mid lately. I don't know why. I'm seeing lots and lots of it. Overall on Kindred, you're gonna struggle against things that have point and click dashes like a Xin Zhao. He's super tough. Jax is tough. Uh, Warwick can be challenging as well if he gets into auto attack range with you. Anything that can close the distance on you is gonna be very challenging. Kiting out melees is the name of the game, which makes Kindred a perfect pick against their Shavana jungle. You want to start W, then get your Q. Your W level one's way more useful against your first camp. It's super, super valuable. I actually want to invade. Oh, wait, I think Sia unleashed, actually. I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to invade now. I could have gone red straight into her blue side, but I don't trust my bot lane. I feel very comfortable in this matchup to where I don't have to do a cheese to win. I can wait till Scuttle spawns and then win. We gotta pull this guy back and if we stayed for two more autos that medium one was gonna freak out the big golem didn't hit us a single time which is good because the big golem is the one that actually does all the damage it does more than red buff it's insane big golem just has really short auto attack range and pretty bad movement speed i, I usually like to actually skip raptors especially if my w is still on cooldown they're a pain to take they take forever collie's wording it i'm glad i skipped it she must have thought i started top side should be able to get level three just off of wolves Kindred, you can easily do a five camp clear, then scuttle crab, or you can do a one camp clear off red side and then invade in the same way a graves would do. That is also a viable, solid option. All right, level three. We're looking for a gank. Nothing's really gankable. Like a call is kind of gankable, but with her smoke screen, it's going to be hard. I didn't really want to take these guys at the same time. It's only happening since uh, the basically the blue buff. I pulled it out too far into the Gromp. That's all right though, because Gromp's gonna heal us a lot, especially the lower on health you are. Proportionally, it gives you a bigger heal. So if I can't clear in a scuttle here, we didn't go in for an invid. There's really no point because I wasn't 100% where Shivana started. Sion was missing mana, so uh, he may have just stolen her camp to start with, or. Uh, I didn't check his CS. Should have done that. It's very diveable. I really got the kill on him. I'll check her golems just in case. Yeah, I think her golems are up. She's still level three. Yep, her golems are up. She's going to see that Scuttle's gone, and then she's going to come for her golems. All right, we should be able to kill her from here. Or just reset. She's either going to come for her Krugs, gank top, or... Uh... Yeah, okay, she's going to go top. I want to gank this. I have a level advantage, and I have range advantage. Siobhan is really crap early levels. We're going to let her walk into the bush. I really is kind of muffing it. QE into her. I'm going to flash that. Couldn't quite pinch the kill. That really sucks. Too much of the slow had faded by the time we got back on top of her. Yeah, we got sign right where we want him. We have our lethal temple fully stacked here. He's a goner. Oh, come on, baby. Just die. That was... <laughs> it's actually gnarly. Sion has so much armor. I'm going to help by Relia push it without trying to take her minions. That way we get a bit of XP out of that situation. First item back, if you can get ahead on a ranged auto attack based AD jungler is Berserker Greaves, nine out of 10 times. It helps you get around the map. It helps with your clears. It helps you chase, helps you run away. It's a really good item for champions who are spell casters and that's the primary way they clear their camps. For example, Hecarim with his Q or Udyr with his Phoenix, then rushing Lucidities is actually a really good option for them. These guys are kind of low. I'll put my mark on him here in a second. You don't want to put your mark too soon before you gank so that you can end up spooking them. What we want to do is 
wait until right about when they're about to see us then we mark so i'll show you what i mean you can't do it when you're in combat with champs either so this isn't warded vagar's lower on health we'll put it on him right now and then we'll walk out I needed to put my E on the Zaya. If I put my E on the Zaya, I killed them both. I also stopped hitting Vagar because my mark hadn't fully materialized on him yet. So I didn't want to kill him because then I wouldn't have gotten the mark. Kali's very low. I'm going to smite this immediately. And then I'm going to go kill her, especially if her smoke screen's down. I'm assuming her R's down since Silas is dead. She's super high level since she's been getting kills. Oh, she needed to run the other way. Oh, that was crafty. Well played by her. I didn't even think that hit my minion. That was pretty good of her, though. I think Siobhan is over here. I saw her move over the scuttle. She may be coming for my jungle or something. Most likely was just coming to help a Kali. Kali's going to die for her insolence. I have... I'm going to WQ. Oh, okay. She's dead. She got a little overzealous. If my Q was up, I would dive and take the turret shots. I think her uh, red buff's up here. Yep. I'm gonna have to R. I need to hold on to my E. I was gonna Q over the wall to build some distance. You can go over any thin or small wall on Kindred. Still have some attack speed. I should be able to take this before Kali comes and kills me. She's obviously gonna come over here since the red buff was up. Uh, Shivana's blue just turned gray. That means that it's up in a minute or less. I should be able to snag that. I need to get out of here like right now though. It's a precarious situation. I will say for ganks, lethal tempo is worse than press the attack on Kindred. For fights to the death, Lethal Tempo is better. And I think Lethal Tempo outscales since it uncaps your attack speed when you're fighting champs. So just for, for ganking at any point, I think Pressy Attack's better. So I don't think Pressy Attack is awful on her. I think you can still take it, especially if you feel like you'll need it for the ganks. But otherwise, Lethal Tempo should be a little bit stronger of an option, especially if you look at its win rate. It uh, kind of speaks for itself. Accidentally eat the wrong wolf there. Tragic. Trying to stay inside of my W when I Q, even if it's just on the edge. That way I still have my wolf and I still get my Q cooldown. Whenever, wherever, whenever you Q inside of your W, that's when you'll notice it goes on half cooldown. I'll go for my red buff here. Sign's not that gankable and Irelia doesn't have TP. Even Irelia has lethal tempo right now. Pretty much every champion who can take it is because people are testing it out and seeing if it's really worth it. And it is. It, uh, it scales really well at Conquer. If your champion's auto attack based, you generally get more value out of it. Your E is an execute on Kindred. So it's a great tool for smiting dragons and securing kills, especially when you're in your R to E them auto twice, wait till R ends. Against camps, you'll generally just lead in with it to clear it faster. I still have my mark on Vagar here. My R is actually on cooldown here. I think Kindred's pull was on a cooldown though. She's dead. I have the boots advantage. That's the nice thing about getting tier two boots is you're literally just faster than people. We were, we were faster than her because she doesn't have boots. We have tier two, so we could just sit there and not even kite it out that well and still get her. I think Shivana was on her top side because her red buff just spawned in. Might be able to get her blue buff from her. That'd be awesome. Put us in a really good spot. Something I could have also done is fly trap the enemies, kill them in between their turrets here, and I could have put the mark on the Zaya. I can't put it back on the Vagar since I just killed him, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and max our W second. I'm trying to save up my W because I want to gank them here. That sucks. Oh well. I'll wait for the gank. I don't think this is warded. He's gonna step up to ward, he's gonna die for it. I gotta go now. Got the Zaya. Oh, I almost had Vagar if he didn't flash away there. He's gonna try to R me is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to R his R. 
Oh, I didn't think that was gonna kill. His R alone actually just killed me. That's super unlucky. It did uh, 409 damage, and I had, I think I had like 400 health with three, like 80. I needed to just R it. Well played by him. We're chilling on a full Kraken Slayer. After Kraken, you're pretty much always gonna go for Collector. It synergizes really well with Kindred's E. Uh, her Q AOE damage and with her R because on your R they can't get below 10% health Once you get down to 10% health you can't be damaged or healed while in Kindred R while you're still inside of it So that's a big reason why collector is strong because pretty much just one auto attack when the came out of your R should kill We're getting bought here Please don't be warded. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it on Zaya right as she's about to see me. A lot of times when you put it on them, they'll panic and kind of freak out. We are way too soon there. That was a bit of a panic R PTSD from the last time we fought Vagar. You kind of have to treat it like a Janna shield or a Morgana black shield. You want to use it the last possible second to bait the enemies. The sooner you use it, the less power you have. Oh well. It is what it is. We'll go back bot here soon. We'll kill Shivana on her red buff. Once you've built a lead, or if you can just straight up solo the enemy jungler anyways because of the matchup, you want to try to show up on their buff spawns because they're likely to be there and you'll get a ton of value out of that. I'm trying to help her push this wave. I don't want any of these. I want her to shove so we can take red buff. Hey, I'm gonna have to eat her here. She's gonna die for it. It's, I don't think it's worth it for a Kali. Kali's the only one who can carry their team at this point. She's the only one who's not super far behind. Shivana may be on it. I'll get my oracles closer. She's on it. She's pulled it out of the pit. Yeah, she's on right now. There we go this way. I might be able to cut her off if she loops back around like a noob. Alright. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, you should have kept running. Uh, I think I might have boots advantage. I'm going to W, Q inside of it. Yeah, she, she got it. Feels bad for her. I'm going to go get my mark, and then we're good to go. We could go for a Herald at this point. I don't have top prio, though, so it feels a little... Bad to go for it. I don't need my W here. Taxi's pretty good. My, gonna let my W poker. Oh, she's not looking. <laughs> Get off Facebook, buddy. The worst time to be on Facebook or uh, Twitter. You're recalling and you think everything's chill, but it's not. Oh, was Kali all inning Silas there? I guess she does have an item advantage. She has the Oblivion Orb advantage, which is pretty good against Silas. Silas is still really darn strong. I'm gonna set those up for him. I do not need those. I really going in for the all-in. She has item advantage, but Sion has Bramble. She doesn't quite pinch. Feels bad. I think we could wrap this game up. We just gotta stay in their jungle. You never want to kill yourself for a mark. Oh, she actually pushed me into the wall. That's an insane synergy. That is such a good synergy. I, I never realized Shivana R pushed you that far to where you could be in the middle of a Vagar cage and Shivana R dumps you into it. That's super unfortunate. All right, we got uh, Kraken. We'll go for Collector. We might have to get a QSS this game. Shivana is not even fed and neither is Vagar. But if her R can consistently push me in the cage... I'm gonna lose. I gotta push for my top side. We saw she was pushing top side jungle. We can't risk going bot side just in case she pushes into our jungle, which is highly probable since I just died. She can't fight me at all. There's just no way I can kite her out. I got greedy. I could have ran away after I inflicted damage on her. I even saw the Vega. I was like, yeah, I can take him. Bad idea. I was sitting on way too much gold to do that. 
She might be on Herald. I'll check it. Alright, she's not. She is not on Herald. Nice. All right, Akali, I'm about to get my mark here. She really went deep for it. I'm glad she did. I got my mark. You're dead. Apparently, he had flash too. It's unfortunate. Got my red smite on her. She's a goner. Feels bad for Shivana. Red smite makes you take... It's like 20 or 30% less damage. Yeah, 20% less damage for two and a half seconds. Oh, marks him for four. Four seconds of 20 per... Four seconds of 20% reduced. That's really good. I think Akali's about to be here. Vagar's gonna want this cannon. Got him. Got it. We'll go get Scion. Snatch him up. We'll hold on to Q to dodge his skill shot, just like so. Will R to stay alive? Oh no. Oh! Someone stop her! <laughs> her doing gymnastics over walls. Thank goodness. Her second R was a little bit sloppy. She was trying to predict rather than just putting it where I was, so she ended up missing it. Once you have your Kraken Slayer, your lethal, te your lethal tempo power spikes pretty hard. I feel like this is where the build really starts to shine. And that's why you're starting to see so many Kindreds taking lethal tempo. If you do plan on going for Gale Force instead of Kraken, which is also a good build, I wouldn't recommend lethal tempo. Because you're not getting the same on hit advantage that lethal tempo benefits. Because Kraken, Kraken has on hit and uh, Gale Force doesn't. So... On hit plus attack speed is pretty good together. I'm gonna hold on to my dash. Dodge their nonsense. Got him. <laughs> oh yeah, this build's cracked. It's actually too it's too strong if you can kite them out. The damage damage output is insane and Akali got me dang I got greedy she put some damage on me there her uh, increased auto attack range on her passive after she hits you with an ability is really far it's like a thresh auto pretty gishnir and similar to it get our full collector third item it's a toss-up between rapid fire and infinity I think rapid fire would be better if you're playing with press the attack infinity better for lethal tempo because for lethal tempo you want to be in the thick of the fight anyways and rapid fire is really only for the first bursty auto so we'll go for the infinity can yeah i can afford pickaxe i just gotta wait a second i don't want to sell my potion so i'll just wait the biggest issue the enemy team has is they don't have a ranged a real range damage the only thing they have is Vagar and Zaya since they're both behind their three melees have to do most of the fighting and me and Vayne will slice through them like butter so the best thing they could have on their team is instead of an Akali if they had a Zerath or a Ziggs mid anything like that or a Nivea that could keep me and Vayne at bay to where our it force our melees to do something basically we outrange them for now while Vagar and Zyar are behind because their damage is somewhat negligible. Who's laying these wards? Three in the same spot. What the heck? They really don't want us coming in into their jungle, I guess. So those were hyper defense wards. Getting ready to jump. I can jump around the edges of these walls. I can't jump over the thick part of the wall, though. I can go over that and that. Or these walls. Hey, bud. Got him. 
cut through them like butter. Love that bonus attack speed. That's a two for one deal right there. You can also go shield bow if you're up against a super bursty jungler. Ah, Galise. And that's it, man. They couldn't handle the full power spike kindred. If you guys enjoyed this lethal tempo kindred jungle, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at the damage dealt, we did have the most, which makes me happy. And then looking at the damage taken, we had also taken the most in the game, which makes me happy. I guess Cyan took slightly more, but we took quite a bit, which means we were taking a lot of aggro, tanking, and scrapping a lot. And then for runes, lethal tempo, we had a max uptime of nearly two minutes. It's quite a bit. It's a long, long time because a lot of the times I didn't even get it fully stacked because I'd kill them so quick. Then for triumph, we got uh, 1300 health, 420 gold. What a nice little number there. For our alacrity, we completed nine minute mark. Last stand, 789 extra health. Sudden impact, six. 70 extra damage and ravenous healed us for a whopping nearly 4,000 not too bad